All right, so we were having some hot days, some hot weather these last few days. So I saw this at Costco and I figured uh, usually when it's nighttime, it becomes a lot cooler, but the house stays really hot. So I figured let's get one of this and help pull the cool air into the house. So we're gonna open it up and see how it runs. Um, if you've seen my videos on like products and stuff like this before, I usually go through all the manuals and stuff, so if that's not your cup of tea, um, you can skip over all those parts, or you can kind of complain. I've had some people complain, but I'm going to do it anyways, because usually everybody else skips all that stuff, so if you want those short videos, you got those, all right? So they got customer service numbers here. They don't... The thing I was looking for was like how much air it moves. I don't see anything about CFM, but it says there's three different speeds. All right, 120 volts. Okay, circuit breaker built in, I guess. And it has a 10 foot cord built in as well. Impact resistant, so I guess if you drop it and you can rotate the fan around to blow all different directions. Okay, not much else on there needed. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's in here. Got this, all right, so again, I'm gonna go over the booklet. If you don't like it, you can fast forward through this whole thing until I actually pull the thing out of the box, all right? So, if this is correct, that's kind of cool. It has two outlets on here, so you can use it as an extension uh, cord, I guess. 12 amps max, if the fan is off, all right? 9.5 amps with the unit on so you can actually use this um, you can plug a bunch of stuff into this and still use it with the fan but make sure if it's off um, 12 point 12 amps max so um, the electricity is usually 120 volts so 120 times 12 I can't do that math in my cell in my head I think it's a hundred a thousand four hundred forty 12 times 12 is four one forty four I think so 1440 okay I guess I can't do the math in my head because it's 12 but I can't do the 9 part <laughs> okay so you can read over all of this stuff I'm just gonna um, uh, pretty much this is common stuff I don't think there's anything people are gonna be messing up other than plugging in stuff that might use too much power and then screw screw up the thing all right you got some maintenance stuff here. Unplug it if you're doing maintaining. How long? I think you left your phone in the bathroom or something. It's beeping. Huh? I have my phone. Oh. I, how come I heard a sound from the bathroom? It's like... Or am I just here? Is my ear working weird? Okay. So there's not much information here. It looks like the rest is in, is in Spanish or French or... Yeah, this is another language. So I think that's Spanish. I don't know. Could be wrong. Okay, so manual's nice, short, and sweet because there's not much to it, of course. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I should probably check stuff, um, see if it says things like, do not use in water, or I don't know what else it would say. But, uh... I don't know if people would do dumb things like try and like submerge it or something. Okay. Let me, I'm actually going to look at the booklet real quick. And then if there's anything weird um, that people should know, I will let you know. All right. I'll be back in a bit, but it comes out like this. I thought the cable was going to like retract into this thing. Sadly, it doesn't. I guess there's not that much room for it. But yeah, it has like a long 10 foot cable here. Okay. And it looks like this. Two outlets. I don't know why the outlets are upside down. So, and I thought, I thought there was some weird mechanical rotating thing from the picture. But it's just, you just flip it like that. So if you want it pointing up, if you want it pointing that way. And I don't know what the third method is. Because, okay, that. And then what? You aim it at the floor? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, no, so there's rubber feet here. I see. So I guess you can put it at a diagonal angle. You can put it straight sideways and then you can roll it all the way down. So I guess, okay, that's the third one. I see. All right. Here's the inside, the motor and the fan. 
nothing in there and you can actually see all the way through it to the motor okay so here's the circuit breaker thing so I guess hopefully that's if it pulls too much power it actually tells you here it'll just trip this hopefully and then they have this switch to you twist it to the right clockwise and it has three different settings all right I'm kind of worried all my stuff is gonna blow away so yeah all right let me read the booklet real quick and I will get back to you guys in a bit all right see you guys soon okay so while you guys weren't looking I went and plugged the thing in all right so there are a few somewhat important instructions the main thing is not to use this fan to ventilate areas with flammable liquids or vapors okay so you don't want to use the fan where there's paint, gasoline, varnishes, floor finishing products, or solvents. Because if you get that flammable liquids in here, it could cause a spark or something. It can ignite those fuels or fumes. And then you're going to blow up your house or catch everything on fire. Okay? So if you have a gasoline spill or something, do not use this thing to try and air it out. Okay? Or you can risk blowing up your house. And this company, they will not be responsible if you do anything like that. I mean, you probably could, but I highly recommend against it. Alright? The other one, of course, don't use it with damaged cable. I see a lot of people, they bring their computers, they damage the cables, and they keep using them. That's very dangerous. It can spark if you get both um, wires internally damaged. They can um, short together and they can cause a fire. So be very careful with that. And then don't use a two-prong adapter because you need this thing to be grounded or you can um, cause some fire as well or shock hazards. You can get electrocuted easily. All right. And then also the other thing is do not run the cord under rugs, carpets, runners, or furniture because it can damage the cord or it can cause the cord to overheat and cause fire, of course. All right. So those are the main things. That's pretty much all you need to know. Let's go ahead and run this thing. I'm going to point it straight up so that it doesn't blow all my stuff all over. And let's turn it to number one. The air, actually even on number one, the air is pretty strong. So let me see. This is the booklet. You can see like it is, it's, but I can't even put it there. Look. Th this is pretty strong for level one. Let's see. Level two. Okay. And level three. So that fan is super strong. I don't know if you can tell. It's not even that loud, which is really nice. Level one, level two, level three. Um, it's somewhat noisy, but it, it's not for how much air it's moving. It's pretty quiet, I would say. Um, I don't know if I have something I can put on it to show kind of how powerful it is. Um, but yeah, it's pretty powerful. Costco's pretty good with return, so if you don't like it, you could always return it. Let me see if I have something I can put on top to kind of give an example of how powerful the air is. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so here's a demonstration. <laughs> I put an empty milk jug. <laughs> I don't have, I mean, it can't carry one that ha that's filled, of course, but look. It's floating. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so that's on level 3. Let's try level 2 and see what the difference is. I'm going to try and hold it. There you go. <laughs> and we'll try level 1. Oops. Okay. Place it gently. So there's level 1. It's levitating like barely. Level 2. Let's try and center it better. Level two. There you go. Floating a bit higher. And level three. There we go. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it'll be good for circulating the air in the room and getting the cold air from downstairs, upstairs. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.